Right, I'm just going to be re-reviewing a mask I've reviewed probably twice now actually over the years on this channel, but this was the first ever mask I got, but I bought it now with the complete kit because I never actually originally had it with that. Um, so this is a Finnish M61, and this is probably the second generation of it. Now the Finnish M61 is just kind of a really good American M9 copy. So for those of you that don't know, just to try and make this sort of like a very streamlined history sort of video in this, in the late 40s, I believe it was, the US came up with the US M9, and the M9 or M9A1 was basically a very good sort of 60mm filter mask. It was basically where British ha Britain had the light anti-gas respirator, America had the M9, and the M9 was better than the light anti-gas respirator, but it wasn't perfect. Now, the M9 was a really popular design, and it was the main you know, mask used by the US before the M17, so what ended up happening was lots of different nations ended up saying, we're either going to do licensed or unlicensed copies of the M9. Now, out of all of those, the ones that probably turned out the best was the Finnish one, known as the Finnish M61. And Finnish M61s are pretty common on the surplus market in Europe, and they're actually very good masks. The reason being is just Finland made them for a very long time, you know, and all the companies that made them knew what they were doing. So anyway, here's a Finnish M61. Now, this has got a 60 to 40 mm adapter in that. We'll talk a bit about that in a minute, but I'll take that off to show you the mask as it originally stands. I've got that in there quite tight. So, this is the Finnish M61. Very, very straightforward and simple. It literally is the mask, it's all nasal cup. You can see this one's dried out a little bit on the inside, but it looks perfectly usable. Um, but yeah, this particular one, if the camera will focus on it, was made by Nokia. If it wants to focus. Probably won't. Yep, yeah, this was one actually made by Nokia, because before Nokia made mobiles, they made gas masks. So the satchels are actually very good high quality satchels they come with. Quite useful if you just want to get a satchel for something else. So, this contains um, the decontamination powder which I've never bothered to use and that can stay sealed for now, but it's kind of nice to have it in there. So, this is the filter. So a lot of people were recently saying in streams, did the Sudot 61T is in the Finnish M61's filter. Is it safe to use and will it stop corona? Right, so regardless, is it safe to use? As far as I'm aware, it does not have asbestos in or anything dodgy like that. It probably contains chromium, but as you probably know if you've watched my videos for a while, I'm not too concerned about chromium because so many filters have used it over the years. Um, so basically it seems to have like a very thick kind of cotton pad there, which you can't really see. There's a lot of dead space for some reason in this filter. You'd think they'd probably have shrunk that bit down a bit, but it doesn't matter. And then it's obviously impregnated charcoal in this section. So let's screw that onto the mask. Will this still offer vapor protection? I very much doubt it due to age, like reliable protection. Will the mask work as a particulate filtration mask if you just simply want to wear a mask and stop dust and all that sort of horrible stuff getting down you? Yes. What would be the rating of this if it was put on a modern system? Probably P2, not P3, but again, that's better than nothing. But again, like I was saying, and we'll go to in a minute, you can use 60 to 40 millimeter filters on this, so. Now, one thing is the mask doesn't have any voice diaphragm on the second gen of it, so, um. There you go, so that's the mask on. Pretty simple. You probably can't hear me very well. You've got your exhale valve under here, covered by the little exhale flap thing. I suppose people could probably hear you a bit better if you took that bit off, but again, that means the air doesn't isn't deflected down to a certain direction, but that's up to you how you want to run it. Right, we'll take this off now, quickly. And then what we'll just quickly demonstrate is 60 to 40 millimeter converters. So unlike that Ghost one I was very disappointed with, I got the other day, where um, it hadn't got a washer in it, and the filter got stuck. You'll notice in these, maybe, that there's actually a washer in them. And the idea was a lot of nations made 60 to 40 millimeter converters, because if they'd previously been using 60 millimeter masks, they didn't want to take the masks out of service yet, they did these. So what we're gonna do is just simply, obviously, screw that end into the S10 filter. There we go, that's on properly. Then screw that into the mask. There we go, pop this back on. didn't really readjust the straps properly but there we go it seems to still be pressurizing so here we are that is the Finnish M61 it was a very oh there's a bit of talc inside the mask I'm afraid so <clears throat> when I keep breathing in the talc's going um, down me so I ought to clean that out before I ever think about using it again 
Yeah, Finnish M61s are really nice masks. Um, if you want a good M quality M9 clone, they're probably the best one you can get. Certainly better than the old Yugoslav ones, for obvious reasons. Um, if you don't know, basically... Communist Yugoslavia did one called the M1, and I think one without an oral nasal cup called the MC1. And that's the one that, for some weird, uh, weird reason, seems to melt in on itself. Why, I don't know. But, there you go. So, that's the uh, Finnish M61. Weirdly, it was the very first mask I ever got. I was given it as a gift. And I bet people wish I was never given masks as a gift now, because I thought, wow, this is cool, I want more of these sort of things. So, yeah, it's got a big, bulgy nose on it. Um, the reason it's got a big bulgy nose is because it's got the Tissot system and the oral nasal cup sort of all built into that nose space. But yeah, it's a very good mask for what it is. Oh, an exceptionally good mask. There's the V3 sort of version that came later with a voice diaphragm on. The only issue of those is it seems sometimes the voice diaphragm plates in them can be a bit crap and let air through there. I, that might have been a reason that there was never many of those on the surplus market compared to the V2. Because I know the V2 was probably in production for the longest time and then the V3 is probably... I only saw limited numbers maybe due to some defects, I don't know. But there you go, Finnish M61 is a very good mask.